Up next, we spend a day with internet inventor superstar Colin Furs. This is my job! Colin started his YouTube channel nine years ago and has since become a self-taught record-breaking internet celebrity. He builds a wide variety of crazy contraptions which get millions of hits on his YouTube page, but it's a far cry from what he started out doing. Went into plumbing straight after school, did that for about 15, 16 years. And somebody said to me, oh, there's this new website called YouTube where you can upload videos. And I kind of thought, oh, I've got loads of videos I used to make from BMXing and stuff. Rather than just passing a VHS tape, around like your mates sort of thing, all of a sudden it was going out to the world. And then it just like kind of evolved into me making stuff. Two million subscribers! YouTube is different to TV because you switch a TV channel on and you get what, they, what they're showing you, whereas with the internet, people search for what they want to see, so they immediately feel more of a connection with it. And then just chop it up, and all you need is the down tube and the headset and obviously the forks and handlebars. Basically, I asked people for their ideas, and somebody has asked for an instant baking cooking machine. Some things I build first, I prototype stuff before I film myself making it. If I'm not fully sure how it's all going to work together, then I'll kind of do like a, a sample version of it. I I want bacon now! It's a work in progress, but you can see the thinking. The spinny spinny, roundy roundy, bacon. Not great. Not great for my view. I'd like to think that you could never predict the next video. You know, it jumps around quite, quite frequently, you know. It literally, it's all over the place. So you never know what to expect. Check this out, look. Firework rocket launcher from GTA. <laughs> Now, one of the biggest projects I've ever done is my secret underground bunker, which is now under my feet. And the entrance is this way. Don't tell anybody. OK. <laughs> there we are. This is the bunker. So we're kind of underneath my lawn at the moment, which is a little bit strange. Uh, this is basically turned into my fun room. So you sat in bed and then whoop, you get your lights come on at the appropriate time. And then when your alarm goes off, <laughs> it loves you out. So I got asked what I'd do if the world was going to end in 34 days, and I'd build a bunker. So that's what we did. We built a bunker. That's it. All our hard work's been buried. It's pretty strong. If the stuff was ever to hit the fan, I think I'd rather be in here. We've got a little bit of seeing, because, you know, I'm three metres under the ground. I want to feel like I'm under ground and not just in a metal box. I come down here every day. Um, I'm trying to teach myself the drums. Um, trying. I've always looked forward and thought, like, you know, this is always going to progress. To what level, I don't suppose you, you never really know. Colin's next big adventure is working with Ford to create a new means of transport. So remember my brief? Unlearn mobility basically means forget the norm, think outside the box. I'm going to revolutionise the world of transport with an awesome machine, and I get to keep it afterwards as well. That's awesome. Even though Colin works with global brands, when it comes to his YouTube channel, he's still a one-man band. As far as the, the filming, the editing and things like that, it's all self-taught. It could probably be a lot better. The cameras I use are OK, they're not super flash, but, you know, they do get mucky, they do get bashed around a bit. The majority of the videos, it's all filmed on a handicap. Reason why? It's nice and easy, you can manoeuvre it around, you put it on tripods, it doesn't take up that much space. And of course, the close-up and action shots, got the good old GoPro. And then if I want to record sound a bit better, if I want to be a bit more flash, I've got a slightly bigger one. People just want to see, you know, something really cool and sometimes the rawness of, you know, you getting excited in the moment and forgetting to film these little nickety shots, it doesn't matter because it will come across in the, in the video. It's just you were just excited to get on the thing and use it. <laughs> I like to make the things that, that will never get made because you can never sell them. Because, you know, because that's, that's what people will never make. Because no company would ever put money into something that they could never sell. It's one of my quests to build unsellable rubbish. History has been made on Fertz's invention show. I don't really know what I'm doing as such, so it's kind of just like thinking of something, you know, all these ideas that have come in, picking one of them, go, right, let's try and make that. And it's, um, you know, I, I like that, so I'm just, just going to keep doing it, really, till, until it, either it stops, you know, paying the bills and I have to go back to plumbing, or I get too old and decrepit and, and just, you know, can't function anymore. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>
here's a good one. What's just been installed in Estonian pubs allows Nepalese yak farmers to swap tips. It sounded an alarm to scare me away and alerted Stacy to my misdemeanor. 